So again, surprise, more simplifying radicals. And in this case, we're asked to simplify the square root of 24p cubed over 49. So again, same process, essentially. It's just a little more complicated. We looked for perfect squares and common factors. In this case, there aren't any common factors between 24 and 49, and there aren't any variables uh, in the denominator. And therefore, we know that uh, we can't simplify under the radical first. So that means that we separate this into the square root of what factors of 24 are perfect squares. Well, 24 is 4 times 6. And 4 is a perfect square. And with p cubed, p squared is a factor that's a perfect square. Leaving us with p. 4 times 6 is our original 24. p squared times p is our original p cubed. That's all over the square root of 49. So now we further separate the numerator. This is the square root of 4p squared times the square root of 6p, and then the square root of 49 is just 7. <clears throat> now with our square root of 40 or square root of 4p squared. We have a square root and the variable is being squared and therefore we have to take the absolute value. So the square root of 4 is just 2. The square root of p squared is the absolute value of p. And we're still left with the square root of 6p and that's all over 7. <clears throat>